Ladies and gentlemen, first let me welcome you uh, to tonight's uh, session, Budget uh, Dialogue on uh, Budget 2014. Um, I am sure you have many uh, views and ideas uh, and suggestions, so I look forward to hearing from you your thoughts on Budget 2014. But I thought that uh, just as a start, uh, perhaps I'll share with you very quickly uh, my three thoughts on Budget 2014 and then uh, some interesting feedback that uh, Rich has received uh, on Budget 2014. Uh, firstly, I think my, the three words to describe uh, Budget 2014 is a caring, responsive and forward-looking budget. And I think uh, for caring, it is really because uh, there's special effort made to recognise and honour our pioneer uh, generation through the pioneer generation uh, package. And I think for me, it's reassuring that the government will be fully paying or funding for this $8 billion package uh, through this year's budget. Huh? Uh, so it gives assurance to our future taxpayers that they will not be burdened. And of course, I think it is also testimony of the government's prudent budgeting. I think it's also caring in other ways because there are also other initiatives to strengthen the social safety net. For instance, uh, helping not just the elderly, the low income, but the middle income, as you have seen uh, earlier on in the uh, budget uh, overview that was presented. Middle income, as well as not forgetting the disabled, which I think, you know, who I think are really the most vulnerable uh, members of our society. Responsive, many of you probably have um, given feedback in our pre-budget uh, 2014 dialogue session. Uh, and I think many of you asked for upskilling of older workers, raising of CPF contribution rate, uh, as well as, uh, of course, uh, 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 you know, employment issues, uh, concerns about older workers. And I think uh, government has responded, top up of the lifelong endowment fund, as well as, of course, raising of the CPF uh, contribution rate. And uh, responsive also, in terms of our Singapore conversation, healthcare concern was a key issue then. Forward-looking, why do I say that? Because I think the budget continues on our restructuring of the economy path, you know, helping companies, encouraging companies and helping them to uh, improve productivity and get on to the quality, you know, on, uh, achieve quality growth so that we have a more sustainable economy. And I think that is forward-looking. So these are my three thoughts on uh, Budget 2014. Um, some uh, interesting uh, views and uh, suggestions uh, from the feedback that Rich has received. Uh, over the last few days, we have actually received about more than 400 uh, feedback inputs. Not too bad. Um, and basically, uh, I think largely the feedback contributors uh, have given a very strong positive uh, feedback on Budget 2014. I think they have welcomed the budget. And I think if you look at the listening post there, you can also see many positive comments about uh, Budget uh, 2014. Um, and um, you know, some of them have actually given some uh, quite resounding uh, support, commending that the budget is well planned, well thought out. But of course, the not so generous feedback contributors say it is a good start. Okay, not bad, lah, huh? Didn't say it's bad, lah. Say it's a good start. Um, more than fifty percent of the feedback, notably, was on initiatives to build a fair and equitable society. So actually, the feedback is generally. A lot about the PG package, about the enhancing uh, healthcare affordability, about help for older workers. These are some of the, the key feedback. Right? On uh, the uh, Pioneer Generation package, again, mostly uh, appreciated it. In fact, they appreciated the fact that um, you know, uh, there's an $8 billion fund, and true to the spirit of just of honouring our pioneer generation, uh, the, 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 the PG package did not differentiate by income. So I think many people were happy with that. But uh, there was a few feedback from some contributors. One of the interesting feedback was that, well, you know what about the healthy pioneers? Don't need to make use of the healthcare package. Huh? Basically, it's about healthcare. So can you, uh, they asked, you know, can the government uh, give a discount, some extra rebate on transport? Uh, some discount on uh, community activities, uh, as well as maybe go and encourage the cinema and resort operators to give discount for pioneers. In fact, somebody actually wrote to say, why don't you give the pioneer generation a special card to recognize them as pioneer generation? So my thought was that, so it is cool now to be a senior. Yeah? <laughs> well, 
for enhancing uh, healthcare affordability, again, I think generally they, they welcome the enhanced subsidies and so on, like at SOC. But there was actually feedback, and I think it's good uh, feedback, uh, concern. Uh, how do we manage healthcare costs? Um, and they said that we need to look at how to contain healthcare costs because that will be more sustainable than just adding on subsidies. So I think this is you know, a genuine concern, uh, something that we, ought, we need to uh, work on, continue to work on. Right. Then there's a, another uh, feedback on flexi uh, medisafe, uh, more flexible use of medisafe. La. Why don't I think that is actually a common feedback? You know? why don't you allow medisafe for uh, uh, outpatient, for scans, and so on? Okay. Uh, and lastly, uh, feedback on uh, helping older workers. I think most of them uh, actually appreciated and. Uh, thought that it was good that we increased the CPF contribution rate for older workers, but some then came back with this concern, you know, about how does it impact, will it have negative impact on the employability of older workers, you know, uh, and I think again, genuine concern. So these are some of the feedback and of course, later on, uh, I would love to hear from you, your views on this as well as many other aspects of the budget.